and a good evening from the flight deck at the opportunity. This time we are approximately 5 minutes 53 seconds from uh, landing at the Meridian A planes near the equator of Mars. The weather today at the landing site is expected to be fairly mild with temperatures averaging about minus 15 degrees C and there is no chance of rain today. Current velocity is 12,193 miles per hour. Over the next minute we should begin to receive electronic tones from the spacecraft indicating that the gradual deceleration. Parachute deploy has been detected. Now, positive indication of parachute deploy. Currently at an altitude of 18,000 feet. At this time, the radar should be active. We expect that the radar will lock up onto the ground. We expect that the airbags will inflate approximately 20 seconds from now for an altitude of 5,000 feet, 168 miles per hour. 4,000 feet. Radar solution matrix 21. Uh, the radar has a positive loss on the ground. We have a retro rocket firing solution. Retro rocket ignition on my mark. Mark. At this time, the retro rocket has fired. We have confirmation. The retro rockets have ignited. We are now awaiting confirmation of positive signals bouncing on the ground. We're seeing it on the LTP. And I didn't know he was going to do this, but he grabbed me and he sh shook me. And, and I really realized how much tension I'd had in my shoulders and my whole body that day. And, uh, and, I, and I just felt the tension melt away. So about oh, it was uh, so uh, electrified, the atmosphere. Uh, Governor Schwarzenegger was there and he was captivated by all that was happening. The Vice President uh, Gore was there. There you saw Wayne Lee with representatives John Culbertson and Adam Schiff. What was, I think, really most fun for, for the non-scientists in the room was uh, just watching the faces of the people that had devoted the last uh, several years of their life to this. And seeing their enjoyment and their excitement. And here you have these you know, normally fairly stoic scientific types, not given to great hyperbole, who are going crazy. analysis because it looks like nothing I've ever seen before in my life. <laughs> and it shows unambiguously layered, layered bedrock couldn't be more than 10 meters away from us. The thing that we were hoping, praying that after, you know, hundreds of meters of driving, maybe we'd find, maybe, bang. What a night. <laughs> I mean, this team is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the very idea, no one dared dream we would be able to pull off a batting a thousand on this. And yet this was a tremendous testimonial to how NASA, when really focused on an objective, can put every ounce of effort, energy, emotion, and talent to an important task. And this is just a truly remarkable achievement. I think the American people uh, you know, saw and were able to really get a sense of the, of the passion that is descriptive of everything we do in this agency. Uh, and certainly our great colleagues at the Jet Propulsion Lab uh, made that such a, a tremendous bring it to life kind of experience for everybody who was tuned in. And there were a lot of folks tuned in and continue to. Well, having started Tradition three weeks ago, I think it's an awfully good idea to keep it going. <laughs> It did get the lawyers a little unnerved, though, when I brought the champagne out to toast the crew, uh, but, you know, they'll get over it. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Mars Exploration Rover Team. Of